So here we are, and I want to point something interesting out. I'm actually running Mac OS El Capitan, which is the new Mac OS, and there was something very peculiar when I went to go sync my iPod Classic recently. The songs just would not sync up, and I thought, oh gosh, my iPod is dead. Well, I was playing with a iPod Nano that I got from my uncle, and I noticed there's a setting that gets shut off in the new version of iTunes. So I want to point this out. What I'm doing is I'm using, I'm using a 2 gig iPod Nano. And this one is one that I got from my uncle. I'm setting it up for my mother, actually. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into right here where it says iPod. I'm going to go in there. And when you first co go in, it'll have your iPod information. I'm just cutting right to the chase here. You're going to naturally see this in summary. But if you go down to music, you're going to see something that says sync music. Well, as you can see, it shut off. It did that to me with my classic. And I noticed it with this Nano. So all you do is you click it, and it says, of course, as many songs I have, which is slightly over 2,000, and I'm over capacity, but that's okay. I'm not going to put all 2,157 songs on it. So for that, you just do like select, selected playlists, artists, albums, you get it. And you just pick what you want. If you're going to do like, and that's if you're going to do like a small one, like this little two gig. But otherwise, you know, just, you just click sync music and you're good to go. In fact, you'll see up here in the little, where the Apple logo is, you'll see this progress bar just going like crazy. And it surprises you at first, but then you realize that's what I did wrong. So I thought I would just point out that little quirk in iTunes El Capitan. 